dedication, motivation, inspiration. Three things that drove Nick Scott to overcome a life-altering accident. I was going to football practice, and um, as I was going there, my, my left front tire blew out, and I rolled my vehicle five and a half times, and I was ejected out of the driver's side window, and my own car hit me in the back. It broke my back and damaged my spine at T12L1. I got titanium rods in my back like this with bolts like that. The doctors diagnosed me as I was paraplegic and they told me I would never walk again. That would be physically impossible. Even with the diagnosis, that did not deter him from overcoming the odds. When I went back to high school, I felt like I had nothing. So when I went in the weight room, that killed me that much more, but something snapped. I realized if I couldn't do anything, the one thing I could be was stronger than everybody. Nick's determination didn't just help him overcome the odds, he destroyed them. To the point where I got sensation to where I could eventually move, going from nothing, feeling nothing from the waist down to where I couldn't feel anything from the knees down. I got full sensation back in my quads so I can kick out, I can leg press 800 pounds for reps. I just can't feel anything from the knees down. You can basically, I wear braces to keep my feet at a 90 degrees angle because I have no calf muscles. And if you see, like my calves, or smaller than my forearms. I walked two hours around a trek with loft strand crutches. And afterwards, my back hurt so bad. That was my max. <laughs> Eventually, I became a two-time world powerlifting champion. 39 first place, two seconds, one third. And then I, I got my bachelor's, got multiple fitness certifications. And then I started wheelchair bodybuilding. And then that's when the whole neon thing came because the fans love the energetic. And I was like, what could be more to bring them alive? And I was like, I'll just deck it out with neons and spinners. And when I, when I did it for the first time, it was a huge crowd favor. So from that moment, I embraced that. It's okay to be different. His accomplishments from bodybuilding opened the doors to other avenues as well. So, um, Aubrey and I did win two competitions. We won overall, and then we headed over to, uh, we, we represented the USA for the first time ever at the Worlds in Hanover, Germany back in November. And before that, we were um, one of six couples chosen to perform for Arnold Schwarzenegger at the 2010 Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus. When faced with obstacles, there is one saying he lives by. Einstein never said he was smarter than everybody. He just said he stuck with the problem longer. And that's the key, is thinking outside the box to make anything work. So that's what I did with the bodybuilding, the powerlifting, my weight, and as well as the bar, um, ballroom dancing. Reporting for Studio G News, I'm Eric Cuomo. Stacy Ogman was one of the stars of the 1990 championship team. So how does that squad stack up to the current roster? The Paragons second and none. No, we were, we were a good team. I mean, this team is also a good team. Um, the best is yet to come. Ogman was also an assistant in the NBA where the differences are glaring compared to the college game. Um, of course, the talent level is down, you know, but one thing about coaching here in college, you know, that is great kids. I mean, they're listening to what we're saying, they're buying in, and it makes a good feeling. Although his playing days are long gone, he is as confident in his game now as he was back in his heyday. No, there's no one on this team to rob me myself. No one's as good as Stacy, huh? No one as good as me. No, there's a lot of good kids on this team, but you know, I just I just play a different style that anyone has on this team. I asked Mike Moser if Stacy could take him one on one. Right now, no. <laughs> but but he 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 claims a couple years ago he might be able to do it, but no, definitely not. While Augman might not be able to contribute on the court, his experience is an asset, according to Coach Rice. Would like to be able to put Coach Augman in a game, but uh, he's done a terrific job as an assistant coach for us. Brings so much credibility because of his success as a player, but then also credibility because of the four years that he spent in the NBA as an assistant coach, and just has a great way of communicating with our players, and he certainly has made our program better. Does Augman see head coaching in his future? There's no plan for that right now. Right now, I'm concentrating on me being assistant coach underneath Dave Rice, and whatever it takes me from there, it will be.